Hello my dear friends, a few hours ago I returned from a family vacation and it is time for a new video. Even though I was on vacation, it doesn't mean I wasn't working. It is hard to rest when you are doing something you really love and I love to, I love working on projects like this one. So for the past few days I've been working on this project and I wanted to show it uh, to you because I think it looks very good and it is very interesting and I also had to learn some new things like using websockets and but more about that later so what is this this is paid project I worked on for a company named Helium Smart World this company was founded by two kite surfers and for a kite surfer wind is very important there is no point in getting ready and putting all that gear if there is no wind. At Helium Smart World they developed a mobile app as well as a web app that provides all kite surfers with information about wind strength and wind directions. There are of, of course other information such as temperature and so on. In their app you can find hundreds of stations that provide reliable data about wind at specific location. And one of the founders is my subscriber and he got the idea to display this data on ESP32 development board. And here are the results. We are still working on this but I wanted to show you this because I know you'll find this interesting. These two Lily Go T display S3. This is version in shell and normal touch version. They are showing wind at different wind stations. We can also see current time. We can see time of Time since uh, number of seconds since last update, direction of wind, temperature, and here is also custom message. Very interesting. These two are touch versions, but this sketch works also on regular 3D display S3 AMOLED. I will not share code for this because it is their project. I just helped them. You you will notice that this is not originally my design. Uh, I just copied the design from their from their app. But it looks nice. What is what was most interesting to me that for the first time I used web sockets and later I found that they are pretty common but to be honest I never use them. It's it's been a long time since since I worked on any mobile phone app or on I'm just programming these toys. Tell me what you think. Also, I want to know: is there any kite surfer in my in my community? So, if you are my subscriber and kite surfer, please leave a comment. Um, tell me: will this be useful to you or something like this? Uh, they will probably release this very soon. To non-kite surfers, this still can be used for as some weather station. If you just put it on the table, it will look good. Also, I got you ask me 
how to mount this board. Also, I wanted to show you. I order, ordered from AliExpress these screws and one point, I think four millimeter screws fit really good here in those slots. So I was, uh, I needed easy way to mount this on some flat surface and now I will be able to use these screws. And yes, if you want to know, I used Squareline Studio for this project because it was way more... Sorry. It was way more easier to make this... this meter in Square Line Studio because you can set background image of this arc and this is really easy to do. Thank you. Tell, uh, tell me what you think. Please uh, leave a comment if there is any kite surfer please tell me would would you use this if you want to try K wind application feel free to check the description links are there that's it have a nice day I will see you soon probably with some um, I don't know maybe tutorial are you still interested in uh, Square Line Studio in tutorials please leave a comment because last one was disaster thank you if you want to support my work you are feel you are free to do it yes great english you can find links in the description you can buy me coffee become my patreon supporter have a nice day goodbye